How many times have you found a good photo that you knew you want to make something with? You felt this connection to maybe even had a whole vision all about it, but it just didn't turn out the way you want it. Hi everybody, I'm Sharon and I am here because I want to help you overcome your creative obstacles, improve your techniques and really maximize each and every creative session you make. Today's tutorial is part two of the how to find a good photo series. If you haven't watched the first part where I share all my secrets and tips on how to find a good photo for your layout, then I encourage you to check it out. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to bring out the best from the photo you have chose, how to understand the scene, identify the colors, the shapes, the patterns, and taking all of this understanding while building your layout. So stay with me in the next few minutes where I will not only explain but exactly show you how. It might sound obvious, but the first step is to really try and understand the scene. What is the figure doing? Where is she looking at? What is she thinking? These questions will help you start building your story. This lady is obviously a bride. Did she just got married? Is she minutes apart from walking down the aisle? Does she have a second thoughts? And this woman is dancing. Looks like she's drifting away from something. Is she happy? Is she scared? Is she longing for something? All these questions might seem irrelevant, but actually, even without knowing so, we are making pre-decisions right here. If she is sad, maybe we will choose darker colors. If she is longing for something that she just gave up on, maybe we will give her hope with soft, optimistic colors. Ask yourself these questions and try to see how you feel about them. After we thought about the scene and we started to feel these energy vibes we want to give our piece, we can start the process of choosing and collecting the materials. I suggest to take out all of the materials you are planning to use, even if eventually you will not use them all. This will keep your process flowing and your creativity will be maximized. Take a good look at your chosen photo and identify the colors, the shapes and the patterns. All of these can later on be transformed to the piece with a patterned stencil, shaped elements and paints. The most critical moment is when you decide where to place your photo and your elements. You need to use all the understanding you have just reached while examining your photo and use it while building your composition. I am going to share with you now a few practical tips that will help you simplify this process. But just before, if you are enjoying this content and want to be part of my growing art community where I am sharing my approach on how to overcome creative obstacles, improving your techniques and really maximize each and every creative session you make, don't forget to subscribe. If we truly understood our photo, placing it will be a rather easy choice. Following these few tips will help you simplify this process. Avoid placing a photo in the center. Always leave the figure a place to be, to think, to gaze. Try to imitate the movement of the photo. up with an harmonious well-balanced layout is all a matter of understanding where to load the majority of the elements. The photo is an invitation to recreate the story the photographer didn't code up in his lens. So we need to search for those places that invites us to fill in the gaps. Few practical tips that will help you identify those places. 
check for places where the photo is being cut usually a dress or a hair and in those areas is where you will adhere most of your elements search for the places that need support if the figures are sitting let's give them something to sit on if they are leaning let's make sure they will not fall and even if there isn't a specific motion that asks for support, we can use our logical understanding and provide the support in areas like the back of the figure or on the ground where she stands. Avoid blocking the figure's view. Now let's take all the practical tips I have just shown you and see how we can implement them while actually building the layout. This photo made me think of some kind of a spiritual inner dance. As I saw it, this woman was struggling to decide whether she is walking away from the darkness into the light. That is why I chose to use the colors of the photo where in one side I emphasize the dark shades from which she is walking away and in the other side the light pink shades. I wanted to imitate the triangle motion that I saw in the photo. By wrapping papers I created a triangle transition between the dark and the light. I chose feather that relates to the softness of the dress, flowers in deep blue and pink shades. I cutted some butterfly to symbolize her freedom and added swirls, molds and chipboards that extend and imitate the movement in her hands. I emphasized the transition between the dark and the light by locating my elements all around it. And of course, I supported the figures back by placing the majority of the elements right there. Let me know what you thought about this how to find a good photo series and if it helped you to find a good photo for your layout and bring out the best of it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All the materials I have used will be linked in the description box below. I will see you again soon. Bye bye!